Hello there. Welcome, everyone. To Explore the Beyond Scales of Destiny, episode 50. That's right, it's episode 50. It's pretty exciting, it's pretty cool. I hope you're all doing well. Last week was a bit tragic and emotional. I know. And today we see the fallout from this. And I hope you're all ready for the ride. We... We should get started. We should get started. Let's uh, bring this up. Yeah, there we are. That's not the right button. Sort of beats I can have, which will help. How many feet do you have? Um, one feet. <laughs> <laughs> one feet. <laughs> one feet does plenty. Oh, uh, some may say. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. We're uh, getting straight into it. Bierius, you said you can do a quick recap. Cool. We'll do. So it's time for sixty seconds then. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. I believe. Right. More simplified things. So, at the start of the episode, Nell was segregated from us. The rest of us inside. Um, door closed. And she was outside with basically her big demon patron. Um, and was trying to, like, bamboozle this big demon, which wasn't going too well. Um, while that inside... Some scythes came up at the ground, one for each of us, and we had to fight, unfortunately. And mate Bill dies. Um, but the rest of us take care of those. Um, and then a big white dragon comes out of like the portal behind us and kind of bashing through through the door trying to get to the egg. Um, to which Nell does smash it on the floor, set it on fire. Um, and herself on fire, knocking herself unconscious in the in, in the same point. Um, but the big the big demon kills dragon with one hit. Uh, we kind of go out there and try to like fight with the demon a little bit, but it seems a bit pointless. Um, da -da -da -da. Uh, now gets back up because she was knocked down unconscious, but gets a nat a natural twenty and gets back up again. Uh, but the Boss disappears after the realizing I guess the eggs destroyed. Uh, we kind of speak to Jambari, um, and she says about she basically we meet Jambari and she tells us that loads of dragons have been piling out of that thing like tens and tens of them like maybe 50, 60 or something. Dragons have been going out and that's the kind of same thing that's been happening uh, in her city as well. Um, we start to have our watches and a long rest. Um, Nell takes the first watch and speaks to the patron, um, but then doesn't get up. Basically telling... I don't know if we really know exactly, but I guess tell, telling the patron that, well, I'm, I'm, I'm useless to you, you might as well kill me or something, and then pretty much seems to have done that. <laughs> um <laughs> And then Jabari basically yeah, realizes that they're dead. Um, has set out a call to other dragon slayers. Steelbrow decided to stay, and we decided to try to head back over the ocean and try to get to a point there. So, yeah, I think. Sounds rough, good. But... Sounds good. I think you hit all of the major notes. <laughs> you all, three of you along with Jambari, are making your way back out of the sewers. Um, head, aiming to head back into the city hop proper so that you can travel somehow to Aldencliff, back on the Northern Island. Um, leaving behind your friend, your fallen comrade who has mysteriously perished in the night. Um choosing that or deciding that time is of the essence and action has to be taken 
You can see Jambari is struggling. She's tired. Um, it seems that however long she's been traveling is really starting to take it out of her. However, she's plowing on. She makes no mo no voice of complaint as she follows the three of you through the sewers back out into this um, city. And at this point, it's nighttime. Middle of the night. Difficult to tell this, however, because of the plumes of smoke still rising from the volcano and the fact that flying through the air are at least three dragons. You can't make out colour. You can see they're fairly considerable in size, but colour is difficult to discern in the darkness. Jambari is cautious and hesitant. She seems to be trying to keep to the shadows more than normal, or more than you would expect. You, The three of you are kind of not necessarily too stealthy, let alone bothered necessarily by stealth. More of a hurry, but Jambari is keeping a distance. And she turns to the three of you. Do the three of you have a way of escaping the city? Depends how quick it needs to be. Well, time does seem to be of the essence. We can go back underground and go out what the escape tunnel we came in. Might be one of the better ways. I think any other way in we're surrounded by lava. True, but that does take days. And do we have days to spare? Well, we can't fly, unfortunately. Um... I don't think we've got much other option unless... Roll, roll an insight check for me. Uh, I get advantage on something insight. Why do I get advantage on insight? Rune Carver. I think it's one of my runes gives me advantage on insight. Do they? Um, my D&D Beyond Cat thing says that. Let me just go down my pitch and traits. I think it's one of my runes. Uh, stone rune, you'd advantage on wisdom, insight checks, and dark vision of 120. Nice, okay. Fair enough. When you say that you can't fly, Jambari looks sheepish. Um, um, like she's trying to like trying wants to say something but can't quite. Okay. Um, unless Aqua, have you got any flying spells? Let me have a look. Nope. Potions? Do you have any flying potions? Uh, I have this potion of fire breath. I don't think that's going to help us though. No. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't have anything, but if we can get to a boat, we could probably sail it. There Unless is you that. sail on lava, I don't think that's going to uh, help us. Well, I guess there is the... Hmm. I was just thinking about if we can get our earlier exit because it took us days to get from where we got into the tunnels first but could we go underground and find a more rapid exit within like less than a day it's knowing where to look though for that because the valkyrie said there were some but whether or not they were either covered with lava or blocked we don't know that It's not a massive ring of lava, right? It's not like miles of lava. It's about, it's about, I think, I think it's about a mile surrounding the city. Mm, okay. 
Well, Jambari, we're gonna we're gonna have to go that way. We can't go over a mile of lava. Can't fly. Unless you got any other suggestions. It'll take us days to go over the, the sea anyway, surely, so. What's so another day underground? Make a persuasion check for me. Not gonna be good. Certainly could have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Um Nope, not that window, that window. I have ways of getting us there, but it's not going to be safe, and I can't promise we'll get the whole way there. And you cannot tell us all. Um... Sounds good, but the whole not getting us all the way there might be a problem if we, like, what, stop over the sea or something? Yes. I'm aware of this. But when there aren't, many, aren't isn't much in the way of options, what can we do? need to rest or is it magic it's not quite magic i think i'll be okay we need to find an open space so that we need to find an open space and um she leads you down some streets and again she's staying hidden she's staying under roofs if she can help it like overhangs of roofs and she's staying in the shadows quite considerably more so than you would expect like normally to happen um and then she finds an open courtyard nope let's make it night time Let me guess. Aqua can't see. Uh, Aqua, you can see. I can see the whole map. I don't know why. I think it's Skull that can't see. <laughs> yeah, I can't see. Whoops. That's fine. Let him suffer for once. I know, right? <laughs> um, as you find yourself into this courtyard, um... Jambari looks up to the sky, keeping an eye on the dragons. And um, are you, I like what? What state are you in right now? Are you trying to stay hidden, or are you trying to kind of just be casual, nonchalant? Do you have, do you have your sword out, Vic, for light, that sort of thing, or are you going sort of undercover, stealthy? I wouldn't have my sword out, because I'm guessing it's not super dark with like the lava. I know we can't see the lava, but I'm guessing it's getting up a glow and still probably got torches on and there's... Is there fire from the dragons? You can't see anything. They, do, they don't seem to have attacked the city. Oh, okay. In any in any meaningful way that you can see so far. Okay. Well, I mean, seeing that Jambari's trying to hide a bit more than I was expecting, I probably wouldn't have my sword out and... My dark vision is pretty good anyway. Yeah, so I mean, I'll just uh... make sure Aqua doesn't run off. <laughs> okay. Only a loser would be able to see in the dark. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. The cruelty. <laughs> um, okay. As you come out into the open courtyard, Jambari steps into the middle of the courtyard. As much space around her as she can seemingly muster. Remember... You cannot tell a soul. And she kneels down on the floor and curls up into the fetal position. And then sort of exclaims loudly and 
her body just starts shifting in sort of unusual and unnatural ways and it starts growing and expanding and her silver hair starts forming into um, semi-scaly frills and her eyes also silver but with a dash of purple grow on her face as her face also expands outwards forwards um, spines and frills on the on, along her chin and cheek um, her mouth expands sideways like to a grotesque a grotesque way almost like a sort of chelsea smile type size and just keeps going as her body continues to expand and before you know it you're not looking at jambari you are looking at a gigantic silver dragon that stands up on all fours spreads out its wings and shakes like a dog and it sort of starts at the head and just like progresses down the body ending at the tail and just like you just hear this deep sigh of relief and then immediately looks up to the sky everyone make a perception check for me okay scald and aqua despite being surprised and you know imp somewhat impressed maybe by this human being turning into a dragon um your attention is immediately drawn to where she looks and you see that the three dragons that were flying in the sky now seem to be circling over the square that you are inhabiting currently and they start swooping in closer and closer vic you're more taken by the dragon just appearing from where jambari was um jambari in a in a similar voice but deeper like octaves deeper that sends shockwaves almost through the mm -hmm. courtyard just announces climb onto my back we haven't got time i can explain later <laughs> um sure this way aqua yeah we, we need to know <laughs> um she immediately feels like you start climbing on and before you're even like fully situated she just whoosh, one push of like one flap of the wings and you're already 30 or 40 feet in the air about 40 feet in the air and then 50 feet and then 60 feet and another flap and she starts soaring above the sky um vic you're now acutely aware of the other three dragons that are now kind of not necessarily encircling you but are in pursuit um for reference you are being flown that way so you're kind of going to the right of the map the three dragons are converging on you um seemingly quicker however jambari swing like flaps her wings again and it just like you just burst forwards um the other dragons not like struggling to keep up but are um and then while you are kind of surveying the situation the red dragon that sort of manages to get a little bit closer and unleashes its breath weapon um everybody make dexterity saving throws for me I will do it this way. Hang on. Sorry. Um, it's sort of this way. Ah, I missed all of us. Just that. It's, it's just a vague placement. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> um, Sorry. I should probably do one for Jambari. Okay. Um, as the three of you are grappled onto the Jambari, um, 
her back onto onto her back kind of like hot like digging your hands into her scales as best as you can to keep track to keep keep hold of her um she swoops down as she feels the heat get closer and closer she just sort of barrel rolls and swoops downwards um aqua there's a moment where your hand slips um and scold behind you you kind of start taking the brunt of aqua's weight as he has let go of the dragon and is now basically encased in your arms as you are also holding on um vic you at the front are some are just about able to keep hold um but um everybody takes half of this damage so everybody takes 22 points of fire damage um take half that take again half again if i'm resistant exactly um also it's a uh, 27. why is it 27. you said half of 55. yep <laughs> so it's half. 13 if it's half 13 halves yeah okay. i can maths math um and as jambari barrel rolls down the three of you take um you know you take you take some of the brunt of the hit and um no 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 that was wrong there we go let's uh do that properly shall we cool um the red dragon having slowed down to unleash its breath weapon does fall back slightly um and the two others the blue and the white pincer from the sides um instead of going for breath weapons they literally they just swoop in and latch on their claws to jambari and as a result you um everybody make um no actually scold and vic make dexterity saving throws and aqua makes strength for me please dexterity hey where is me dexter not so great <laughs> um again Vic, as they start coming in and they're just clawing away i'm not going to bother making attack rolls but they're just clawing away at jambari kind of ignoring you they're going for the bigger threat um you manage to adjust yourself so that you are secure feeling secure you're in a position you feel like you're holding on but also ready to attack um and aqua and scold um scold having aqua kind of pushed into you both of you are in awkward positions you do lose your seating and are starting to slip off the side of the silver dragon one either side of each other um and you're not falling but you are coming loose um I think at this point yeah i think at this point we'll roll initiative i think could i oh i was, I was waiting to see what you said for those two C could i use the reaction quickly yeah 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 go for it i want to use my stones thing to try to incapacitate one of those dragons mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which one i'm um, saying so the uh, one next to the white spot was nearest to me so I'm okay gonna, this is this is like as it as you said i rolled the 21 i was gonna yep. say that before Sorry. I'd wait. No, no, no. I just didn't want to rush ahead. Um, uh, you must. Uh... I could pass that. It. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. As you, you are seated. You are seated comfortably, and um, you know you've got yourself secure. You're ready. The white dragon, before it even knows what's happened, as it's clawing away at Jambari's scaly, scaly form, you send off your stone rune, and in a sick kind of um, moment, the dragon just kind of stops and is charmed, so is incapacitated, yeah. It just stops. The wings stop flapping. The claws stop um, screeching and scra uh, scratching. 
and it just starts falling, plummeting. At this point, you're hundreds of feet above the ground, Ooh. and um, you're fairly confident. You see just the crater, like small crater of an impact on the ground below you, but it's difficult in and amongst the volcanic ash and things like that. This dragon is gone. That's a bigger one than your one, Aqua. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Should I say after that dragon attacked us, my Tides of Chaos probably would have gone off. Okay. It goes off whenever. That's less of a me choosing a Mora. It just happens. All right. Any code brown moments? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, He's yeah. Or poops himself. <laughs> I said to help me if I need it. Okay. Um. So yeah, roll for initiative, please, everyone. Oh no. Uh, not you. All right. Pew. Oh, blimey. They actually rolled well on my initiative for once. Jeez. Double. Uh, it's just not fair. It's just not fair. <laughs> actually, wait, one's Jambari. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Ah, oh, Jambari goes first. Um, in retaliation, you just, you hear her, her booming draconic voice Hold on. And she turns and swings. And as she barrel rolls again, she holds out one of her claws and one of her wings to strike at the blue dragon. Um, not her wing, her tail. Sorry. I read that. Read that definitely right. Twi I'm, I'm, I think 27 hits. I think we're fine. Um, and then 15 points. Okie dokie. And then a tail swip swings round. And kablam! Yeah, 28. Okay, okay. Don't mess with silver dragons, guys. Uh, another 23. Um, as Jambari completes the barrel roll, the blue dragon just gets knocked backwards. Still flying, still in motion but has been pushed away from just the um from just the action of being attacked like this um and that would be her turn i believe yeah it is now the red dragon's turn he's going to fly in and just again start clawing away I wasn't going to do this, but never mind. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that doesn't hit. Get wrecked, <laughs> Red Dragon. You suck! My blue eyes, white dragon. <laughs> never mind, that one hit. <laughs> Redemption! Oh. Okay. <laughs> Great. So um, you rolled good to start off with. <laughs> this is what you get out of it. <laughs> Um, the red dragon swoops in, recovering from its breath weapon, starts scratching away again at Jambari, um, managing to catch her in the belly on one scratch, um, the other one missing as she's about, still just completing her barrel roll. Um, oh, and then comes in for a... That's the wrong one. Not you. You. Yeah, that's right. And then comes in with its bite. Still going for Jambari. Again, 25. Holy crap. And this time, 21 damage. Ooh, spicy. Um, as Jambari completes the barrel roll, taking one scratch to the belly, the red dragon comes down and almost, almost like it's trying to hit one of the three of you. Instead goes for like the top of Jambari's neck, ripping off some of the spines from her uh, sort of frilly showy bits scold that's a great description and great good job mate ah oh, right 
Okay, we're well, having this uh, sort of nausea-inducing ride. That's going on. I'm not used to riding dragons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, am I all in sort of like one piece? I, I don't need to uh, roll any sort of dexterity um, things to kind of get back up or anything. Um, your current... Hmm. Hmm. You didn't have to. Now we probably do. <laughs> Just trying to be realistic here. <laughs> I will say that Jambari is going slower so that she can maneuver the three of you to keep you on. Um. So for now, barring anything else, you are fine. Okay. Cool. Um. <laughs> Ow. The dwarven throw it. <laughs> when I throw it, it does come back to me. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> throw it at the old. Uh... Actually, no, wait, no, no. Let's just let's try and think about this tactical a bit more. So if I was to like spawn a uh, spiritual weapon, would it get left behind technically, or would it stay with us? Um. No, it stays in the spot because technically you are you are in like movement. Yeah. Um, I'm just not representing it on the map because you know I only have so much map. Um, so you're technically like Jambari is using all of her movement in this direction. Yeah. Every turn. Um, so your dwarven thrower would basically have to keep up with about eighty foot, eight, about sixty feet of flying speed, which I not your dwarven thrower, your spiritual weapon, sorry. Yeah. Which I don't think you can do. That who cannot. Um, so I am going to just throw my hammer at the uh, the red dragon, which is going to require <laughs> serious skill. I uh, believe in you. You'll be fine. Ta -da -da. <laughs> Hits. Such skill, such precision. <laughs> nice. 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 Ten. I mean, that is. I, I can't throw a basketball into a hoop, let alone throw a hammer at a flying object while also also flying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had stuff to scold. I think that's a. Uh... Scold is one. Good throwing of axe hammering. Glorious bastard. <laughs> one glorious bastard, exactly. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do for the time being. I think that having Jambari here is giving me some confidence not to go to Gung Ho. Start off. Just do okay. a bit. Vic. So, are we just represented next to her there? Can, we, can I reach the red one while I'm riding her? Yeah, you are technically like on her back, so you are... Right, okay. You can reach across. Um, it's just easier to have you there because... Otherwise, you can't see yourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, next thing is... Could I... No, I probably shouldn't. How much? How big is she compared to us? Like, is she carrying us with ease, would you say? Oh, yeah. Like, she's long. You know, we're talking 40 feet long. Okay, so if I, was, long. if I was potentially to grow, like, another couple of feet, it probably wouldn't hamper her you wouldn't imagine so we're going down <laughs> <laughs> going out okay glorious thunder can I, can I, can I, can I, I just want to say to Jambari is that before i do it then it's like can you handle a little bit more weight can you handle the thickness <laughs> <laughs> are you down with the thickness <laughs> she's just kind of mm. Sounds all right to me. Now, I, I obviously go quite big on the screen, but I only get like another foot and a half or something. I don't think I... Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> um, so, okay, I'm the giant smite then. Giant smite! Grow in size. One extra D6 damage. Um, and I'm just going to hack down at the, the red one. Okay. Which you might not let me do from this range. So I'm just going to. Yeah, that's, that's fine. You can. You can move yourselves around Jambari as much as you need. Okay. Um, so I'm going to swing down. Swing down uh, hellfire upon it. Uh, 
misses. It's not advantage if it's not flanking or anything, is it? It wouldn't class as flanking, no, because everyone's basically in the line. Hey! Second mm. better. Makes up for it. Right, unfortunately, it's a red dragon, and I know from the books we've read that they don't mind fire. Mm. So I won't bother doing. Did the books say they're immune to fire? The... Or resistant? They have they have an affinity for fire, so yes, they're probably probably immune. However, however, magic fire, <laughs> fire well, fiery fiery chains are still chains. It's that true, re that restrict potentially. It's true. So let's see if we can crash another one out of the sky. <laughs> so I'll, I'll I'll do my damage for my attack. Mm -hmm. Plus a D. Oh, it's gonna let me do it. 21. I only had three from the last. That should be done. Yeah. Well, no, because it rolls twice for some reason. Oh. It didn't roll the d6 twice, though. Roll the d6 again. If it's double, okay. It's like double or double it, it's right. up to you. Okay, I'll just double it. It's on it's the mid anyway, it's three. So that'd be 24 then from that strike. And then we're going to try. We're going to try to fire rune it. I'll do the damage even though it's fire, you know. Up to you. Pretty cool. All right. And it's going to make then... a strength save. Yes. Okay. Big moment. Ooh. Oh. oh. It did make it. It gets momentarily restrained and then it just spreads its wings and screams out in like a very disgusting, raw um, baritone that hurts your ears slightly. And the the sort of runic fire change just sprinkle into the air and disappear. Yeah, okay, okay. That would have been very lucky to get two. It would have been very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got an action surge, but I don't think we do it yet. No. Okay, we're not going to do it this yet. Mm -hmm. That would be me. Hold them tight. Okay. The blue dragon recovers from taking the attacks from Jambari, moves in, and it's going to release its breath weapon, which oh, no. is Crackling Lightning. Boop, 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 boop. However, this one is a beam. Yay. Oh, right. Missed all of us, sir. <laughs> um... Aqua, you're in you're the middle. <laughs> right. Trying to set this. So, um, roll a dexterity saving throw, please, Aqua. Haha, <laughs> -ha, I have advantage. Oh no. no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jambari takes 64. Points of lightning damage. Aqua, you take 32. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She likes lightning. She didn't fail that saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing. <laughs> That's right. She does things. So she takes 32. <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of that because it's annoying. Uh, that is the blue dragon's turn, however. Aqua. Now, I have an idea, but I don't know if it's allowed or not. Oh, no. Uh, if I did haste, could I take it away as a bonus action immediately? Or do I have to at least wait a turn? <laughs> <laughs> Everything I've read says the rollings up to the DM, so I know. <laughs> it just haste Jambari and we get out faster. Yeah, she speeds I off. I think and that bit only lasts a minute, so we're not going to go very far. I mean, Use the knots. <laughs> I will tell you. I'll, I will tell you this. You've noticed that. 
because Jambari is going slower, they're keeping up. But generally, they have the same sort of flying speeds. So, 160 feet for a minute is, you know, quite considerable because they won't be able to catch up. Aqua would, have, one... Sorry, Aqua would have noticed. So, yeah, even if you have one round of an extra 80 feet, as long as she then continues at full speed, for as long as they they chase, you're fine. But okay. at the same time, alas, I cannot see anything that would say, "Yeah, has to wait a turn." Okay. Well, then I'll do what I was originally going to do, and as the blue dragon is close to me, I'm gonna use my action to haste it. And then See. I'm going to use my bonus, ac bonus action to cancel that haste. Great. <laughs> okay. That's such a stupid thing. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Essentially, what a haste is in this application is two different spells. It's essentially yeah. just like, uh, oh, hey, I've buffed you. LOL, JK. <laughs> but it's that it. When the spell ends, target can't move or take an action for the next turn, so it's gonna just drop like a stone. Well, I mean, can it hover? Is that technically moving? Well, no, it will just, it will drop 80 feet-ish for a turn. Okay. Um, I think it's 60 yeah. feet is the maximum, because I think it's 10, second, 10 feet per second. Or something like that. Okay, at least um, there's a rule to it. It's not just gonna be like, they plummet and die. <laughs> they don't plummet and die, but it is back here very low down compared to you now. I need Wilhelm scream. <laughs> <laughs> and that is my turn. Roll a d100 for me. Great. <laughs> oh, I ended my turn, so. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Six. Oh, I don't oh, like that. Close. You're fine. Please, Imagine. Imagine. Oh my god. Everyone <laughs> off, weren't I? <laughs> Oh, for crying out loud. It's a dumb one. We're safe. Josh. Yeah. Please stop rolling this one. <laughs> Get beard. <laughs> you know what? Actually, no. I'm not taking it from there because we've, we've, been, had we've done times. that. Oh, what, we've what, done what, that. What was that? What could I have had? It was going to be another bloody Modron. <laughs> oh, God. Play boxes I said again. I would get that again. <laughs> Cause Cause shit that would off of me. <laughs> I, just really, uh, I just got that Tyler meme. <laughs> just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, but this time they said if I ever summoned them again, they would just murder. <laughs> <laughs> you got fucked up again, boy. <laughs> uh. Me. Hey, I've technically not done nothing wrong this time since they last saw me. They should be okay with me. What was the last thing you did wrong? You contaminated the the water supply by my being in it <laughs> that one time. At least I got pushed in it. So, Aqua. Yes. Um, are there currently any magical effects on you at this moment? No, actually, because I haven't put Mage Armor on. Scold and Vic. Oh dear. Are there currently any magical effects on you at this present moment? What's my thing about? I guess so, yeah. Rather embiggened. Uh huh. No, from me, I don't think. Yeah. Um. So, Vic. Mm hmm. That's the wrong one. You are, big? you are no longer big. Oh no, you've been shrunken. You've been shrunken. Um, I'm rotating. <laughs> How are you doing that? Just hold control and with a mouse. I've lost control. <laughs> um, you are no longer embiggened, Vic. I'll shrink myself. As, as Aqua just sort of fizzles a little bit, you get a kind of weird turning feeling in your tummy. And you just... 
back down to back down to medium Vic. Um. Those box things would have tried to arrest one of the dragons. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they got hit by the dragon, I mean, that's how this all started with me. I hit one of them by accident. Phew. Is that how it all happened? Shit. Yeah. Well, no, actually, no, it looked at me in pirate clothes. That was it. Okay, as you're flying along, um, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It was a tough choice, but it's fine. Um, nothing else happens. Jambari just keeps flying. You're dead. Jambari's turn. Jambari, unwilling to turn to um, attack the younger red dragon, just, again, barrel rolls and swings down two claws at the red dragon. Oh, sorry. Barrel roll. Barrel roll. And with a 29, gets a hit. And gets 15 slashing damage in. Nice. She cannot unfortunately use her bite attack because she's facing the wrong way. But 25 also hits. For another 13. All right. Like Matthew McConaughey said in that one film that one time. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um... Yeah, okay. And then she's obviously going to continue flying off in this direction. It is the young red dragon's turn. The red dragon of young stature is going to go for Vic with a claw. There you. Because you attacked 20. Damn. Quite good enough. Second claw. 26. Quite yeah. good enough. <laughs> You take damage. My God. Vindication. Oh, Magical claws. Magical claws. <laughs> Ten points of slashing damage. <laughs> yeah. And then she comes in for a bite on you. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, dear. 13 misses. Um, you manage to avoid the first slash, take the brunt of the second, and then just dodge out of the way as she comes and clamps in with her jaws and misses you just about. Um, the heat from her mouth is unpleasant. Scald! Okay, after getting re-acclimatized to the current situation, which is uh, quite difficult, I realized that uh, Aqua's looking a bit battered, really. He's, uh... He's looking a bit off-kilter. He is a bit off-kilter, look at him, he's a bit wonky. Um... Oh, man. I'm fine, I'm used to this. What happened to your hit points, by the way? I swear we had a long rest. Yeah, I got hit twice, and this is my life. <laughs> okay. This is always my life. Looks <laughs> uh, like you're in a need of a bit of uh, help there. Um, I just love the to... realization. <laughs> He's just like, wait a minute. Where have your hit points gone? I, not as healthy as I remember you being. Someone sneezed and half of them just blew away. Okay. So uh, let's do something about that. So I'm going to cure wounds on you. There you go. Life changing. Ooh. Well, that could have been better. Yes, gold. Come on. <laughs> that I mean, 48 plus 4. How did I only get 16 out of that? <laughs> you rolled a 1 and a 2. Jesus. Someone wants you dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so that's uh, an action. Bonus action-wise. 
Uh, I don't really know if I can actually do anything, to be honest with you. Um, I wish I had a bonus action cantrip. That'd be nice. I'll just throw out there every so often. Um, I think everybody else is doing a good job. Give up the good work, guys. I'm, I'm uh, going to keep on doing my thing. Survive. Um, <laughs> Sounds very right. scoldish. Yeah, I'm just going to hold it. Can I, like, use a bonus action to kind of reaffirm my grip and show that I'm not going to get knocked off? Sure. Cool. There we go. I do that. You're bracing yourself. Brace. Yes. Vic. Okay, so I, I grew big. I s attacked. Then all of a sudden, I shrunk again. Uh huh. But I'm not happy about that, so I'm going to regrow again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't reuse. Really oh, no. You can't. Oh, I can't. Not yet. Okay. Sorry. So did that use it, or would it just wouldn't have worked? It just wouldn't work. Okay. Okay, Vic. It happens to the best <clears throat> people. <laughs> Which also means, actually, you couldn't cure wounds last turn. But it's cold. Oh, gee. Wait. It did it hurt me? It didn't have work. I got like an anti magic barrier around me. Yep. Right. Can I change that for something else, or did it just like fizzle? No, you can change it. We'll go back. Sorry, that's my fault because I forgot. Right. And chaos mages. Yeah. <laughs> Kill them. Just fry them off. Just fry hey, This isn't the normal chaos tree. This is something else. <laughs> this ain't normal. <laughs> um. Well, I suppose I just keep on throwing my hammer then. <laughs> I had a hammer. I'll throw it at a dragon. You try and release your cure, cure wounds to heal the squishy little um, sorcerer, but nothing nothing transpires. Um, and that hits. <laughs> However, oh. the returning function of your hammer is, oh, mag come on. is magical. <laughs> 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 um, which so we'll say instead of throwing this one I, I um, you, go from, up <laughs> from from your inability to heat, cure wounds you, you think hmm magic doesn't seem to be working and as such you reach over and bonk it on the head manually <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah okay no um <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I tested my magic out before throwing my hammer. Uh, should I do something a bit more daring? Dare I say it? And I'm, I'm going to check something before I even think about this. Oh, no, that's not good odds. I was thinking about maybe trying to uh, jump onto the uh, the red dragon, but I think do that it. would be a bit... <laughs> yeah. Do it. All right, let's do this. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! So, um, okay. I don't have the mental and emotional capacity for two deaths in a in like two weeks. <laughs> so you're gonna advise me against it? I trying to get away from this check. Make an ath athletics or acrobatics check for me, please, Gold. Ah uh, dear. Okay, you tentatively stand up on this drag on the silver dragon of Jambari, and you leap whoosh, because, as we know, no one tosses a dwarf. Nope. You land a little bit sketchy, but square on the dragon's back. What are you doing? I'm gonna hammer it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's where my attack roll comes in. Uh -huh. So. Uh... Yeah, let's see, to damage. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where's my thing? Damage it. Oh, for Pete's sake. Mr. I've already done that and it didn't allow me to do it, so ignore this one. You still hit. Uh, You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. It wasn't, it wasn't very... Uh... Hmm. Okay. I mean, points for cool. Removed yeah, for, you know, rolling badly. You, you all just like both of you just watch scold 
stand up and jump over onto the red dragon and then it brings its hammer down onto the back but sort of glances off and it's a bit of a it's a bit of a pitiful attack from what could have been a cool moment <laughs> i like how i went from bracing myself to the complete opposite of <laughs> bracing myself just because of an anti magic shield uh, yep. up Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like YOLO. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got no magic. What else can I do? Mm -hmm. um, so, I suppose from there, could try and make my way back, or I could try and. So why don't you just hit it from that from our dragon then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stay on this dragon and um, attempt to distract it. Okay. Um, that's your turn then, I guess. Vic, you cannot end big and sadly. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to look dumbfounded at Skeld. <laughs> <laughs> and then my turn, no, I'm joking. And I'm going <laughs> to swing. I'm, I'm, I'm... Action Surge isn't a magical ability, is it? It's no, like... it's, a, it's, just a, it's just an ability. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm just going to... If this thing dies and you fall out of the sky with it, I'm hoping that dragon will catch you. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> um, right. Uh, 22 definitely hits. Right, damage. Uh, I was giving me giant's might, so ignore this last d6. So don't add on five. Ten damage instead. Ten damage. All right, um, it's attack number one. Attack number two. Slash, slash. 21 hits. Damage. 15. Nice, nice. You can start, you're starting to see some real, um, like some real damage being done to this thing now. Um, there are chunks being taken out of the scales and um, a few of its spines have been slashed and cracked and torn apart um it's looking angry though <laughs> okay good good we like it okay um just 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 piss off and I'm gonna <laughs> just shoo shoo <laughs> shoo <laughs> um i think i action surge oh there it is and attack number three Ooh. uh 18 just hits oh lovely A little bit of slowdown. No, don't say that. The damage roll has been done. It should. There it is. There it is. We've we've gone so well without um major without major incidents. Um, sixteen. That's not bad. Again, it's like starting to look proper angry, but also very damaged. Okay, I just accidentally used a charge on my long sword, which I'm not using. Probably corrected. Uh, okay, so fourth attack. Go on. Hit as well then. Twenty. Yep. And another eleven. Nice, 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 nice. Right, go away. And get back on this dragon, Scold. <laughs> Scold, you get back on that dragon, or so help me. <laughs> get, get on. <laughs> uh, this dragon cannot do anything. Because he is lethargic. Aqua. Aqua. Now, can I do any magic? No. Great. Um, okay, I, I will at least attempt to try something, failing, of course. And then uh, be like, crap. I've obviously done something yet again. <laughs> I love the, the resignation. I don't me by this time. I was going to say, I love the resignation that you know it was you. Yeah, it's happened so much now. I'm trying to be good. Uh, instead, I'm going to... Oh, I ain't got much. All I can do is... Without getting close enough to the dragon, because I'm going to stay holding on. <laughs> and turn around and try and fire my uh, crossbow at it. Okay, you still have advantage. Do I? I shouldn't have, because I used it on the deck save. 
Oh, did you? Yeah. I mean, you've used your D100, you've, you've rolled your D100, so you could technically do Tides of Chaos again. No, it only comes back after a long rest. Well, it's after um, I get you to roll a D100. Wait, is there a new effect you put in? Tides of Chaos. I'm pretty sure it comes back after... No, once long rest. It does. It just says I regain it after a long rest, not after I've rolled a 100. Once per long rest, you gain an advantage on one attack roll. Before you regain the use of this feature, the DM can the, the DM can have you roll. Oh, okay. Then you regain the use of this feature. Yeah. So you've done it. Okay. God, the amount of times that I could have used that then. <laughs> yeah. Ignore it all. Uh, okay then, we'll advantage that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it was a good try. Um. It just ricochets off the dragon's scales. Doesn't even register that it's been shot. That was expected. <laughs> it was a valiant attempt. Uh, in that case, then... There's my go. That's your go. Okay. It is now Jambari's turn. Um, Jambari is going to forego... Um, some of her movement and she's going to properly turn around while still f trying to fly backwards the th two of you holding on to her are struggling a little bit and she is going to oh shit skulls on his back he'll <laughs> be fine he'll be fine he'll be fine he uh, he he knew what he was signing up for. She's going to. You, you she turns around and just starts inhaling, and she inhales and holds her breath for a moment, oh, no. and instead of exhaling fire or ice or anything that you would expect a dragon to unleash, it's just gas. In a very big cone. Hmm. Scold. I need you to roll a constitution saving throw for me. Well, something tells me I may not be. <laughs> okay. Oof. <laughs> so, Aqua and Vic. You are on her back and she kind of pulls back, still flying backwards away, and unleashes this gas that you wouldn't expect to see from a dragon. And then you just see both the dragon and Scold freeze. The dragon plummets with Scold kind of plummeting a little bit slower behind him. And then Jambara is just like, actually, hang on. Let's see how quick she reaction she's got. L judging from that stat, I'm guessing not great. <laughs> mm. She just about misses you. <laughs> she sees, oh, wow. like, turns, doesn't realize you've jumped on its back, turns, unleashes the gas, and then thinks, ah, shit. Sees you plummeting with the dragon and swoops down to try and catch you. Um, and says, Vic, catch him! Um, Vic, make a dexterity saving throw. No. Either a dexterity or strength check for me. Probably should do a strength check. <laughs> Depending on how close he is, I might have something. I mean, if you if you feel like it, go for it. As long as, long as like it isn't magic. As long as it isn't magic. Oh, crap. Yeah, it's magic. It doesn't work. Wait, the cantrips count as magic? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it then. Oh no. Wait, there's indomitable like, for saves. Indomitables for saves, yeah. This is like to sort of basically catch the dead weight of Scold. Um Jambari just like swoops underneath him and tries you try and catch him, but he's just plummeting a bit too quickly. You 
managed to grab hold, but he slips out. You're not quite able to get a good grasp, grasp of his wrist or anything like that. And Jambari sees and again swoops down and tries to catch him in one of her sort of slight, like basically slide him down one of her wings. Um, I'm going to go for a slight of wing check here. <laughs> Okay, the sleight of wing check was successful. He slides down the wing, kind of bumping a little bit because it's not flat, it's not smooth, it's textured. Um, and he bumps into her body. Um, and I need both Aqua and Vic to make dexterity checks for me. Or dexterity saving. Dexterity saving throws for me. Um, see if you can catch him. <laughs> Combined, <laughs> combined, combined, you both yes. just about managed to catch hold of him <laughs> and stop him from falling. Um, the dragon, the red dragon, has just plummeted to the earth, much like the white dragon is gone. Um, like a minute of paralyzation, no chance. The blue dragon sees its two chase mates fall in you know like fairly quick succession and thinks better of it you see it kind of slow itself down and swoop off in a different direction i have learned my lesson <laughs> but you're still paralyzed you are still paralyzed <laughs> just slap I mean, him on the face the work, or do we actually have to speak for that i mean you guys can speak amongst yourselves you and you and vic I thought he was the sensible one out of all of us. I was going to say, yeah, that's something more me or now would have done. That's gold. I like the walkie-talkie. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. <laughs> uh, that, okay. I mean, if it was a sacrificing thing you were trying to do, then respect. Well, in all fair, acting everything to get paralyzed. <laughs> you just hear Jambari. Like after a minute, I assume you're saying this. Just hear Jambari say, Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't know you'd gone. Yeah. Communication needs to be worked upon. I mean, I look down at Jambari and go, I would have thought you would have uh, had some sort of metal breath rather than being able to paralyze people. I have... Many skills that you might not expect. You could say that. <laughs> it won't expect me to turn to dragons, to be fair. So. Yes. Like I said, keep that a secret. We will. Um, so let's continue, I guess. Mm -hmm. Unless we are continuing, in which case. Yeah. <laughs> um, she continues flying um, onwards and onwards. Eventually, you do start to see the the ocean in the distance. You've been traveling for about um, we've been flying for about two hours, and um, two hours of flying gets you to the ocean. Basically, it's a fairly useful skill. Probably not two hours. More like four. We'll go with four hours. I can do distance. <laughs> um, and she says like she's been quiet this whole time. And she eventually sort of pipes back up. Do we continue straight to Waldencliff now or do we rest the night and continue in the morning? I'm good to go, all things considered. I would like a rest and considering you are already tired, Jambari, I suppose it's up to whether or not we need to because I'm happy to rest. 
If necessary, you can all rest on me as I fly. I'm okay with this. I will alert you if I am in need of assistance. Mm, I think well, as soon as we get to land, I think we should rest somewhere. We're going to have to rest there somewhere anyway. Like we're trying to snuggle up somewhere so he could fall asleep. He's like, ah, <laughs> sleep on the back of a dragon. Got a very nice tent. Yeah, stick it on the back of this dragon. <laughs> well, I think we need we need Jambari in fighting strength and took a few hits. And if you've been up for a few days already, probably best if you you rest. Very well. I will put down near the ocean on the coast and we can we can rest for a few hours. Set off again in the morning. Um she starts swooping down in spirals, um eventually finding her way into a kind of a bit of a nestle. Somewhere that she's able to land with her great size um and then when she does let's go for that one boop Um, after she landed, she turns almost immediately back into the Jambari that you know and you are used to. I will move you over in a moment. And it's pitch black middle of the night at this point. You are... Oops. It's, everyone's tired. Jambari is barely able to stand at this point. She is so exhausted. Um, she, I, I, almost as soon as she turns back into her, herself, she almost instantly collapses to the ground and is just softly snoring. It seems the exhaustion is caught up to her. So, who wants to go on first watch? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Want, I can summon Echo, and then he can just be on watch. I think we can, we got enough, you know, time and everything to to do our rounds. Hmm. So what if you summoned Echo and we all went to sleep? He could let us know if there was something going on. I assume so. I've never tried it, but. I feel like that's what Aqua would try and say. But you'd end, probably end up saying something like, no yeah. Way. Yeah. I don't know. Just to try and get an early night. Yeah, yeah. actually, Aqua would be like, yeah, he, he can. He can do it. He's been deprived of sleeping on a dragon, so he's not going to let you take this one away from him. <laughs> well, all right. So we could have, like, six hours sleep, all of us, and then two hours of, like, breakfast and getting up in the morning for an eight hour rest good to me okay if the, if the bird does a bad job here it's very important i mean the bird talks to me so here tell me oh here wake me up what if the bird is waiting for this moment all this time <laughs> and this is his this is his moment this is his time to shine <laughs> Well, in that case, I guess we would As everyone, I guess, then rests after they... <laughs> still not 100% agreeing with that suggestion. <laughs> I will spend the next uh, hour casting it to summon Echo back to me from his pocket dimension. And uh... I don't think you need to. I think he was already there. You just needed to go, hey, Echo, and he would arrive. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, he appears then. 
He was yep. in the sewers last I saw, and then he kind of never followed us into the throne room, so... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he knew what was coming. Yeah, he just... He's so aware now, he goes into his own pocket dimensions. <laughs> but yeah, I've given him the command to basically sit and guard us for the night. Alright. Okay. You all fall asleep. You all have varying dreams, but the connecting factor between all of them is now. Regardless of what you really thought of her, she does occupy your mind, at least somewhat tonight. And um, you have memories of all the great times you spent with her. The time she set Aqua on fire, the first fight you all ever had together. Or the time that Aqua blew her up in a, like, just an unexpected ball of fire. <laughs> or the time she burnt down a forest by setting fire to silk from spiders. Yeah. Or that time she set you all on fire in um, Linhof. <laughs> Claiming that hands were trying to take you away from her. That was an old bug. <clears throat> so many great memories. She was a fiery girl. <clears throat> but, alas. The day takes control. Oops. And you awake to find Jambari sat next to the campfire. Um, so it's starting to cook some breakfast. Where did she get the supplies from? Your 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 packs. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some spices for that. She oh, not again. As, as you all wake up, she looks over to you. Good morning. I hope you all slept well. I think it was needed. It was quite an eventful day. You can see that she's still got like bags under her eyes. She's still visibly exhausted. We've got a long journey today, but we should be able to make it to, Ald to Alden Cliff. As long as we stay, as long as we don't stop for rests along the way, we should be okay. Okay, well, we got to make sure that we're in good condition when we get there. Don't want to push ourselves too much, otherwise we'll not be of much use. Mm. Is your magic working again, Skold? Um, I haven't tried, to be honest. Does it feel like... Try throwing your... Try throwing your hammer. Maybe... Uh, uh, sure. I'll just, like, throw it at a nearby rock. Okay. Roll to hit. <laughs> you throw your hammer, and it goes... Ding! Off the rock just barely glancing it and then returns to your hand looks good to me the ground starts shaking the rock starts moving <laughs> I'm, I'm joking <laughs> would have been funny though uh, some random encounter uh, it is a long or a short rest for us oh yeah that was a long rest no. it's like your bird did an okay job mm. or maybe nothing will just was there to hurt us? I don't know. <laughs> One he, day we'll he find spoke out. To me. He said it was quiet for the night. There was no interruptions. And then I turned to the echo and be like, yeah, it was all good, right? <laughs> Just in my head. Yes. <laughs> okay. Not on that screen that I you're on. I just group smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be on that screen? That... I think I'm the only one here. Like... 
Wait, I don't know how to body experience. I'm still on the dragon screen in the courtyard. Oh, oh furious. Yeah, I, I just... I don't know if it makes much difference. But... <laughs> it makes a difference to me. I did refresh during the transition because I had some things. So. That could probably be why. Behind. It's okay. I'll activate this map. Ah, oh, Valkyries. Yes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, god, yes. They will click them. Get their menus up. This one. The... Oh, Way up on Various. Various. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Back here again. Ugh. Oh, never mind. Anyway. Don't worry about me. Okay, <laughs> don't worry about Burius. Vic is fine, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, as soon as you all finish eating, and as long as there's nothing else you wish to do, Jambari immediately starts to transform back into her silvery draconic form. Boop. <laughs> Covering and crushing Aqua in the process, apparently. Oh my god, she split. <laughs> and then... <laughs> climb on. Look, look, look at Echo. <laughs> <I'm> so sad. <laughs> Echo just looks at, looks at him, looks at the dragon, kind of looks down at himself and just... <laughs> I, 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 I go, don't worry, buddy. You, you, you can go back to your dimension and then... He goes back to his pocket dimension. You just essentially he, he, he... banished him. <laughs> he can come back whenever he wants. He loves it there. He just feels That's exploited. That's what they say about the Pokeballs. <laughs> he's, he's a parrot and his dimension is a pirate ship, so... Um, Jambari starts, um, takes off immediately and starts flying you in a sort of northwesterly direction. Um, you can use an airship when you have a dragon. <laughs> um, I need someone to make a perception check for me. Please. Uh, I'm not too bad, but I think Aqua's good. I think. Uh, I think I might be better. But I don't know if I can roll. <laughs> Aqua do it. Oh, you're probably better, actually, yeah. No, no, Aqua's better, I think. Nope. Skull no. should be better. Am I not? Wisdom should be. No, I think he's got... Um, What's that? I have plus six. Yeah, you have uh, speciality already. Ah. Oh. Efficiency. There we go. Um. Okay. Because Aqua is very wise, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Who knew? <laughs> who knew? Calling you all all this time. <laughs> He's been playing the fool. <laughs> Why do you think it's always Nell that dies and not Aqua? Oh, it's all been. <laughs> Slight of hand. I think, well, since Nell's dead, it's turning to Skull's turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, you keep an eye on the on the air and the sort of surrounding area, Aqua, as you travel for the day. Yeah. Um, there are a couple of times where you see dragons in the distance. Some of them appear to be attacking. Others are just flying, potentially looking for new places to live. None of them bother you. After about six hours of the day, you are well over the ocean. There's no land in sight. Um, you see a ship in the kind of middle distance. At this, at this altitude, it's probably miles away from you. But it's difficult to tell. And it does look unusually familiar, but you don't quite know why. Seen the ship before. 
<laughs> I know. Uh, how? Well, are we flying it towards it? Over it? No, you're flying kind of away from it. Oh. Any? Ch no, there's no way I'm going to spot its name, is there? No, not from here. But you're a ship nerd. You should be able to say, "Oh, that's a Mark V cruiser." Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I will pipe uh, up to the group and be like, "That." That kind of looks like the ship I sailed on with my crew. Huh. I think it's very familiar. Common ship? Question mark. I mean, if it is, you got to remember, it is the one that attacked you all at the very uh, early days of our getting to know each other. I don't remember too much from that time. <laughs> I was too busy no, trying not to be DC. I didn't really take us as well taking the ship for its cargo, I guess. I didn't really take it too personal. Well, can we go have a look, Jimbari? It's a weird detour, but... I don't want to lose time. Especially not going near ships that I do not trust. <laughs> I just let Jambari take us away. I thought you were about to say I just jump off. Live in the sea. Oh, I'm tired. Okay. You um <laughs> continue flying and <clears throat> approaching about nine hours of flying. You eventually can see the hint of land in the distance. It's um, still a fair while away, but it's visible now. And you can see that whatever settlement is placed on the coast of this, this land is on fire. Just destruction everywhere. If the atmosphere was bad where you've just been, because of the volcano and the volcanic ash here it's bad because the settlement is just spewing out smoke it might not have anything to do with dragons but it, that's assuming it probably is a good bet i would say that's the only thing we can do to help i suppose Let's have a closer look, see what's going on. You get closer. Jambari. And you can see Jambari's tentative and very hesitant about getting any closer than you need to. Um, Aqua and Scold, you notice first, and then Vic fairly close behind, that the city looks almost exactly like Olkberg, but... Desolate. Desolate. Hmm. You can hear a sort of very low, mournful s sob almost from Jambari. So that's completely destroyed then. From this angle, yes, but it's difficult to tell without going right down to investigate oh, there's a good chance people ran away as things were getting bad so yeah it looks like we're too late to, to stop this but is there another settlement that we can just try and give Dragon poor warning to weren't we going to meet up with them well she said she sent the message out for dragon slayers, but I don't know where we're supposed to meet them if. If anywhere. We're going to Aldencliffe, right? Mm hmm. This isn't Aldencliffe. No. Isn't Aldencliffe somewhere that's got mentioned before about the hags? 
I think that uh, she do a similar thing to um, another town, in, and they yeah. dealt with it in Aldencliffe. It might not be Aldencliffe, but I swear I remember that. Was... Hmm, maybe. <laughs> Come on, do a history check. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably read from my notes. Well, let's check my head. <laughs> You've still got your weird skullet on your head, Bennett. Circlet. And I don't think... Skullet. I haven't said it in so long, I forgot how to pronounce it. It's okay. I don't I've think that they know anything about a hag. Maybe? I don't know. I think it would be a bit after their time. I have no information on a hag attack in a city called Northern Cliff, no. Okay. Hmm. Would you know of any potential settlements that could help us? You know, any that have experience with uh, dragon slaying in the past? Olkberg is a very helpful town for this. Ah. <laughs> See, yeah, it doesn't seem to be possible now. Looks like the enemy also knew. That's a shame. Olkberg was very useful against dragons. They founded the Dragon Slaying Knights. Did you know that? Uh, if I did, I have forgotten. <laughs> you you would know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. How about uh, any other? Settlements. Well, Kid Ral. Mm. That's a no go. That's a shame. I wish you well. Why do I feel like I'm talking to Chat GPT? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the magic equivalent. <laughs> so I draw a circle. Is this what you're looking for? God damn it. <laughs> I am a computer programmer and therefore unable to form my own opinions on things. <laughs> if you ask a more specific question. <laughs> I am. I'm just your memory. <laughs> yes. Indeed. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, I think we're probably heading towards the best settlement that we can at this point in time. Okay. Well. Let's uh, continue on. I will continue us on to Aldencliff. It's another couple of hours at most. And then we can rest. I will find a shelter. I'm guessing they don't know you're a dragon, so we're going to land outside of it? Potentially. Might be safe. It's still there, I guess. Indeed. Indeed. Jambari continues flying. You, um. You can tell that she's visibly troubled by seeing Orkberg in that state. And she sticks fairly close to the, to the coast. Um, and at this point, she's keeping an eye out for more. Um, danger, however, whatever form it may take. And eventually you can see in the distance a city that is built on a cliff um, that is essentially just one big tower in a sort of spiral shape. Um, this tower comes up maybe about 100 feet. Um and there's some there's some city built on the ground that comes expands from the base of the tower but a lot of it seems to have been built out of the tower like extensions essentially and um the closer you get you can see jambari getting lower and lower you can feel jambari getting lower and lower to the ground um and maybe about 2 miles away from the city um she stops lands and turns back to her normal self and says 
this this is as far as we go. Um, in the air at least. There's not much more I can do. We will have to rely on them still being loyal now. More than enough. Let's, let's do the rest on foot and we'll uh, see what we can do. Um, she nods. Yes. And turns. And you see her walk and she walks towards the city and then disappears momentarily. Um, and then reappears maybe six feet closer to the city. And just continues walking like nothing happened. <laughs> okay. It's going to offer you can ride on one of our backs if you want for a bit, you know, if you're that tired. <laughs> She's already gone. Yeah. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> go on, well, okay. Let's go. I do like roll deception check to see if there is any like uh, dragon eye or any signs of dragons. Sure. Roll a perception check. Perception. Just uh, paranoid about how close they could be. Uh, with a 16, you look around in the sky and you don't see anything. No Sorry. movement, no hints of movement, nothing. Hmm. Okay. Maybe the dragons are the last thing to arrive. Maybe those scaly things are the first sign. Hmm. We did quite well against the dragons a minute ago. Saying yeah. we should poke people until they turn into lizards again? Well, let's just keep our wits about us. We don't know if there are any. Well, let's say, um, traitors in the midst. Mm. Right, cool. We should remember. We should learn from our mistakes. The last time, I think I suggested a little stabby stabby to see if someone was a bad thing. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. That guy killed himself. We confirmed this. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I think we're supposed. To, yeah. Okay. Let's, 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 yeah. No, let's not stab anyone, unless they need to be stabbed. Yeah. Wow, this time Skull suggested it, so you can have Don't the suggest that we go around stabbing people. I <laughs> suggest that we should keep our eyes open for any suspicious behavior. Exactly. And even if we do, it doesn't mean that you go and attack someone, okay? I weren't going to attack someone. I'm not now. I was just going to poke them with my <laughs> dagger. Hmm. Hmm. Deja vu. <laughs> Oh, some NPCs getting killed. Oh, <laughs> oh well. Um, let's not get Jambari get too far ahead. Mm. All right. Um, as you take, as you start following her, you all step through this veil. Um, it's invisible to the naked eye. Maybe slightly perceptible, but not not visible. If that makes sense, you know, you can kind of feel it there, but you can't see it. Like, um, uh, spider's web. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. And as you step through it, um, I need everybody to make charisma checks for me. Um, oh, oh no! <laughs> I'm going to see my rolls from here. I'll find out. Oh, you're still on the wrong map, are you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't have much in the way. That's well. I don't know if you can see it. I can see that, yeah, yeah, fine. Well. Aqua. You step through and are immediately bombarded by questions. Questioning your morality, what you're doing here, whether you're aligned with dragons, whether you're here on personal business, whether you're here on professional business um, and your charm your just innate charm offers up the perfect answers to all the questions and you're allowed entry oh okay Vic mm -hmm. you get bombarded with the same questions you know why are you here how like how moral are you um, and that kind of gets broken down into a bunch of questions. Um, 
you know, who you're accompanying, why you why you decided to come now, whether you're aligned with dragons, that that kind of thing. You stumble and stutter quite quite a lot, taken aback by this. Um, you're just about able to convince them to let you in, but as you exit the um, veil, your armor, your weapons, all seem a little bit translucent, almost ethereal. Okay. Scold. As potentially the most moral and the most, you know, unlikely to side with the dragons. This is an almost offensive line of questioning. <laughs> and your dwarven pride gets in the way of your answers. And as such, as you are released from the veil, you are stark naked. <laughs> Armor gone, shield gone, warhammer gone. Not even like semi visible, just gone. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we're gonna need some cloaks. You still feel the weight. You know, you still feel that kind of familiar, weighed down feeling. But. Have my underclothes. <laughs> no, nope, you've been completely laid bare. <laughs> what tie has he got? <laughs> I think this is a bit, uh, no, <laughs> derogatory, don't you think? I mean, I shan't take part in words. in dealing with such rude people. I, th I, th I think this requires some uh, fan art. <laughs> <laughs> A blushing skull there trying to cover his spits. <laughs> I have pride, thank you very much. I... <laughs> and be proud no of shame what you've here. Been given. <laughs> yeah. That's what got me into this mess in the first place. Yeah, you are moaning a lot for someone that doesn't have shame. <laughs> <laughs> Jambari, taking no notice, just continues walking. Hmm. Okay. Um. Fine. If they want a naked person walking around their city, then so be it. <laughs> okay, let's go first, though. I don't want to be <laughs> looking at that as I walk. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm dressed like a pirate, and yeah. Yeah, <laughs> ironically. It went in like the opposite order to what you would expect, and I quite I find that quite funny. As you approach the city, um, it is a good couple of miles of walking. Um, Jambari is still fairly ahead of you, having been given a good head start. Um, you can see that there's no walls around this city; it's just. Um, houses, buildings built out from a, the bottom of this tower and then this great hulking tower that just seems to s literally spirals um, upwards with you know the outcroppings and um, add-ons added to it or built from it um, about a mile, in, so about halfway into the journey you see Jambari sniff into the air and then relax as a halfling pokes his head out from behind a tree. Ah, you made it. I've been worried about you. Thank you for letting me know you were coming. It's good to see you. And they kind of embrace in a very professional and, um, um, formal type of way. The elders will see you. The council will see you. But you look like shit. You should probably rest before you do. Jambari just kind of sighs outwardly and nods her head. 
Yes, I've had very little sleep over the last few days. I am feeling the effects. These are my friends. These are my guards for all intents and purposes while we are here. And she turns around and for the first time seeing the three of you in whatever state you're in, um, looks at Scold and just... Uh, Scold. And... I fault her <laughs> <laughs> um, she just turns back shaking her head and rubs her eyes they're good people we managed to escape Kirdoral before we lost one and the halfling kind of nods nods their head just solemnly I'm sorry to hear that but I'm glad you made it. We have a lot to discuss. Please, come. And they start walking off together. Um, kind of side by side, chatting away. Jambari is clearly flagging now, like, the exhaustion just keeps catching up with her at wave after wave and there are some times where she stumbles and manages to just about hold on to herself and keep going um and then almost almost out of the blue the houses and buildings just appear and start it's literally like literally just buildings start <laughs> um and before you know it you're kind of encased in these fairly well-built stone houses um nothing on you know dwarven craftsmanship that you've seen in kid for the last few weeks but for a pro, 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 for a predominantly human settlement this is pretty some some pretty good stuff and They, the halfling leads Jambari down an alleyway and she just follows without hesitation and eventually they come out into a big street with a um, a tavern um, just Um, open, you know, open for business, quiet, but there. And the halfling leads Jambari in. Oh my god, stop. Hmm. Hmm, sorry. There we are. Now, in theory... I've set this up in beforehand. I did! <laughs> Yay! Right. Yeah, I'm in. You were in. It's okay. a cozy, it's a cozy enough place. <clears throat> Athena. You're still here. Yeah. Describe the tavern for me. Um well they walk into the enchanted chalice, which is a cozy tavern um, big enough for uh, quite some people, and in the corners there is two fireplaces because two is better than one. And if people want to sit by the fireplace and it's occupied, then it's better to have a second one. Um, and there's loads of cozy armchairs around. Some of them a little bit older, um, all um, patched up, but all in sort of different colors. There's some pink ones, some bright green ones, some leather black ones some brown ones some white ones even but even but the white ones look quite you know because they're white quite run down but also there's some tables um there's some tables normal tables for a tavern uh, where you can sit the um mostly round tables some corner booths uh with wooden uh, chairs on it and um yeah the windows are relatively small however they let in enough light when it's uh when it's daylight to just illuminate the space 
Um, but also it's just, you know, gives this cozy, warm feeling. And immediately when you walk in, you feel at home and you feel comfortable and you get the smell of freshly break baked bread in your nose and you hear the chattering of people, but in a very medium level, it's not too overwhelming. And even if it's not that busy, you still hear the chattering and you still see the candlelight everywhere. However, you can't really discern where the candlelight is actually coming from. There's candles around, but not enough to make it this illuminated. So, yeah. Okay. Um, as you take in this sort of cramped environment, the Halfling and Jambari, they kind of seeming to know their way around. They immediately find an empty couple of empty seats and sit down. Um, the barkeep, dwarven lady um fancy colored hair is currently cleaning some glasses and chatting away to a patron mm, so you're you're around isn't that aqua no we, we we if we're gonna do this we're playing dice for this i'm not doing that <laughs> <laughs> maybe in the world i'm still not buying drinks uh, Scout? They're gonna ask a naked man to pay for oh, drink you drink no Yeah. And no money. Yeah. What? <laughs> That's true, Aqua. This is all translucent. I can't get my hand in my pack. Only your weapon is translucent. Nope. Um, Everything. Yeah. Fine. But I'm buying the drinks. Yeah. And some food, obviously. <laughs> yes. And some clothes yes. would be nice. Yeah, no, you got any napkins? Small, and a really small tablecloths or anything? Yeah, find a pine leaf for him outside. <laughs> a cruising for a bruising. With what are you going to hit me with? Your fist? Ooh. Yes, my fist. <laughs> Are you okay, Aqua? Do you need help start yeah. the conversation? No. I was just going to walk up and just sit there waiting for her to come up to me. Milady. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said she was talking to someone, so I wouldn't want to interrupt her. <clears throat> okay. I have morals now. The conversation between the barkeep and the patron goes on for a long time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're not getting our drinks <laughs> Just ask You're the lady. Like charisma here. <laughs> I, I will uh, do the cough. Ha <laughs> hum. Can I get some wow. <laughs> drinks over here, please? Have a full performance check for that. Uh hum. <laughs> um, I look over at Aqua. Sorry, give me one second, and I finish my conversation first. And then, I don't know, three minutes later, I walk over to him and I look him up and down and I squint my eyes. You're a pirate. A good one. Not as in, no, wait, I'm a good one as in <laughs> I do good things. I'm not great at being a pirate. I'm actually terrible at being a pirate. Ignore it. Basically, I'm stuck looking like this. Right. Yes, anyway. What, what can I do for you? Me and my companions here would like, do you serve fire whiskey? I do. We and I look, just... I, look over, I look over his shoulder at gold and just frown deeply. What is going on here? Oh, Why he, is he, he naked? Problems. Yeah, he had problems coming through that barrier, and uh, he come through like that. Okay. I'm not entirely uh, sure. Hey, I'm just working with what I got. Okay. Um, 
And without another word, she vanishes to the back, to the kitchen, and she picks up an old tablecloth that should be big enough to cover one of the tables, and also scold. And when she comes back, she balls it up and just throws it over to scold. Here, yeah, you can make a toga out of it or something. It's something. I appreciate it. Um, and then, yeah, she turns back at Aqua. Fire whiskey it was. How much? How many, I mean? Uh, just three, please. We're going to have them for a fallen friend that was really into it. Okay. And she reaches behind her at the array of bottles and um, multicolored drinks and grabs uh, what I assume is a fire whiskey and she grabs three um, what you is What you assume is a fire whiskey or what she yeah, assumes yeah. is a fire whiskey? Just to clarify this. Which she assumes is a fire whiskey. Nice. Yeah, she fills three glasses and then uh, slides them over to Aqua. You said you, you had a fallen friend? Yeah. She uh, sacrificed herself somehow. We're not entirely sure, but she keeps dying. I had and... a friend like that once. It wasn't pleasant. Oh, so you may see them again if they're anything like our friend. I haven't seen them for 25 years. Maybe not then. Yeah, our friend was <laughs> special. She died a couple times and came back. We only saw it happen once, so. The first round um, is on the house. Everything after is a is two gold per glass. I'm just in the okay. background counting on my fingers. <laughs> uh, is there any chance that we can get food also here? Yeah, of course. We have amazing food. The best bread in Alden Cliff, I swear to you. It's freshly baked every morning. We keep it warm and it's crunchy and soft in the middle and it is amazing. That actually sounds pretty nice. Yeah, three loaves of bread then. Anything with it or just dry loaves of bread? Nope, they made me come up and talk to you. They're having dry bread. <laughs> Alright, I will instruct my waitress to send over some bread. Why, thank you. And then I will pick up the free drinks and take them to the table. Okay. <clears throat> I need all three of you to roll a d100, please. <laughs> 13. Okay. Aqua with a 49. Your drink is orange, and it's like got streaks of deep red through it. Um, um, okay, I need you to roll a constitution saving throw for me. Oh. Yeah. Nice. This drink is bitter and very sour. It's like hmm. a combination of the two that just doesn't work. Um, but for some reason it does. This is amazing. This is the best drink you've ever had. It's like reinvigorates you almost. <laughs> Vic, with a nine. Mm -hmm. You have a pretty dark brown drink it's pretty grim um <laughs> it doesn't taste very nice i need you to roll a constitution saving throw for me <laughs> but for another reason twenty two this tastes like moldy feet honestly <laughs> like if there wow. was ever a worse drink you've had in your life this is up there with it um you feel your stomach go, <laughs> but you manage to hold it. Okay, I'm going to take it back in a second. Okay. Scold with a 13. Okay. <laughs> um, Scold, roll a con save for me, please. Oh, gosh. Hold up. 
It's called. Yours kind of sends a flush through your cheeks. Um, you've got kind of like a deep red app, like red apple colored with sort of like a swirling orange tinge to yours, and it tastes like app, like cinnamon apple. So it's quite quite a nice taste. Yeah. But oh boy, it's having it's having an effect. Um, yeah, we're not going to go into it, but oof. Hey, cool. What did you order us? Because this tastes like crap. I ordered fire whiskeys in the uh, respect of now. Mine is know. amazing. I don't know what, what you're on about. What are you talking about, Vic? I think this is the best <laughs> drink I've ever had. Uh, I've never <laughs> seen Skull so free and loose. How Actually, can... yeah, that's pretty bad. Let's not stare at him. I don't get it. How... How do you order the same the three drinks, but they're all different colours? I, mean, I didn't did... look at them when I picked them up. Did she just give us? Did she get three different bottles to pour three different drinks? Maybe, but mine is amazing. Skull's loving it. It, so... it, 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 don't, it don't matter what colour you are. I mean, <laughs> the egg was blue. It is perfectly fine, gentlemen. <laughs> um. <laughs> Okay, skill. <laughs> you're gonna. Okay, um, <laughs> why, why don't you go ask the lady for another one then, Skull, If it's that good. I would, but uh, I can't seem to get up from a chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna sleep here for a bit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to the thing. Hello. Yeah. Gosh, you're tall. Yeah, yeah, get that. Um, we got apparently fire whiskey, but I don't get how like we all had different. It's it wasn't fire whiskey. I've had fire whiskey. Um, I lean into him over the bar. I have to tell you a secret. Uh, yeah. I don't actually know what fire whiskey is. Was this your first? Day or just you just don't actually have fire whiskey. She looks at him, affronted. No, I own this place. We just don't have fire whiskey here. Oh, okay. Vic, make a perception check. Uh. A quick browse of the racks of bottles and cups and mugs and casks behind her you don't see anything that says fire whiskey mm. right okay what does that one over there say and I point at a, a very obvious bottle right in front of her can I make it up sure all right um that's moonbeam mead it's just mead do you want some mead it's delicious I get it from the local um uh, a shop that makes honey as well. Um. Okay. Yes. And can I have another one with whatever was you ended up giving my friend Skull over there, the naked one. Oh, you see, I I I got this bottle bottle from a wizard, and it actually pours a different drink every time you pour it. So I'm not entirely sure what you would end up with. That seems a bit risky for a. For, to, uh, and you own this place, and this is how you want to do. <laughs> okay. Sure. Isn't that the fun of it? But yeah, I, I pour I pour him a glass of moonbeam meat, and I pour him another glass of the bottle that I used beforehand, but actually don't know what I'm pouring him. That is four silver, please. Okay. So my armor and weapon are translucent, but I've got my pack, I'm guessing. Oh. Um. Currently, everything's translucent. Oh. Almost ethereal. So I've got no money. Or I can't mm. get some money. Mm hmm It would appear so. Okay, can we settle up at the end? Does he seem trustworthy? 
I mean, he's come in and his entire, all of his belongings are ethereal, which, you know, says that he almost failed the test. I uh, lean on the bar and I put my chin on my hand and I squint my eyes again. What's your name? My name is Vic. And what are you doing in Aldencliff, Vic? We are here under dire circumstance. The world is not not doing too well, shall we say? Have you noticed? How's... Have I noticed what? Anything different in the last couple of days? And I look around at my tavern. No, everything's fine. What does your veil do? You can can you see through it? Is it does it hide things or? So the veil around the city is designed and implemented by the. Um, mages of the moon tower who in a bid to kind of protect their city from any threat um keep it up at all times through some kind of very powerful magic um and it's basically what's kept the city safe from dragons at this point um purely because they can't pass it mm -hmm. um meaning that most of the population including you wouldn't really know that it's even a thing. Um, have I heard? Have I heard whispers though from travelers coming in or something? Yeah, but nothing specific. Just no. that. Oh, uh, there seem to be dragons back, but nothing specific. Basically, it's in the last day or so. People are like, "Holy shit, there be dragons!" Okay. But there hasn't been a dragon around in these parts for a thousand years. So says the old halfling. Who's a levity one. <laughs> so yeah, things are different. Seems like dragons are back. Well, we know dragons are back. Could be killed too. Yesterday. Uh, are you sure? Are sure. you really sure that dragons are back? That seems really unlikely. Well, I mean, I got attacked by one yesterday. Then we killed two. So, unless I've been here drinking for the last couple of days and you've been pouring me some really random drinks, I think I'm telling the truth. Huh. Um, so, in celebration of us killing a couple of dragons, um, can we pay at the end? I tell you what, Vic, if that really is your name. And she pulls out a piece of parchment and some, something to write on it. And she writes his name wrong, wrongly spelled and just writes a tap, starts a tap for them. Just make sure to settle or I will find you and I will kill you. And she gives yeah, him a big grin. I mean, fight for the kill? Oh, yeah. Even a simple maiming? Okay. Nope. I don't do debts. Don't do debts. Okay, and what's your name again? Oh, my name is Bryn. Brynja. Bryn. Brynja. Cool. Yeah. Brynja. And this is the Enchanted Chalice. My pride and joy. My tavern. My inn. Okay. So, welcome to Aldencliff. You, so you came to the right place. Maybe. Maybe we did. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to go over there and... Yeah. <laughs> and I walk away and like, Skull is not one of those drinks. After, after a few minutes, they are brought out their loaves of bread with some nicely salted butter. I give Skull his drink and then I realise I didn't get Aqua, another one, but... Um, it's okay, he got you shit last time, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying something different. Um, unfortunately, though, you're gonna have to set up with her afterwards because me and Scott don't have any money at the moment. That's fine, I'm sure. If it all comes to it, 
no, I can't just run anymore. I have to be morally right. Fine, that I'll is pay. True. Good lad. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna drink my, my my moonbeam whiskey, and I'm hoping that Skeld gets a really awful one because he was too happy after the first one. All right, Skeld, roll a d100 for me. D100 again. Roll a d100 for me. Fifty-eight. <laughs> okay um this one is like this drink that's just been poured out is like a really thick golden golden amber um sort of texture really thick looking very um like like a mead, basically. I need you to take a sip. Mmm. Nice and sweet. A bit peppery. It's syrup. Peach syrup. <laughs> with, <laughs> with a bit of pepper in it. And, oh, it makes you want to eat a nice thick cut steak right now. Oh, man. Like, you, you are craving, like, a proper sirloin right now. Like hardcore. I don't know about you guys, but I could really do with some food. A good piece of steak. Like tree. So there's bread right in front of you. And bread ain't steak though, is it? <laughs> it's food and it's all you guys are getting. Come on, Aqua. God will pay you back. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay you back. I've got plenty of money somewhere. <laughs> I believe Skald. I don't know, do you? I don't think I would. <laughs> He's honest, man. Look at him. Yeah, we we we, we defeated a dragon. Why would I? Why would I like two you? Two dragons. Two, two whole dragons. So, plenty of money. Mm. Fine. Thanks all round. On this hey. one. On this one. My point, Aqua. <laughs> Great. The just, barkeep just, doesn't just... seem to be listening. Oh, I'll click my fingers then. Oh, sorry. I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> Bye, I, mate. Look to... <laughs> I look over to you, but I do ignore you when you do that. I'll, 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 I'll just, I'll just orders, orders at the bar. <laughs> oh, Aqua, you'd have to get up again, wouldn't you? Yeah, I like get up, slumped over, very disappointed that I now have to do this a second time. I'm merrier than ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like jigging on the spot. Just what can humming. I do for you, Blue Pirate? Uh, I actually never asked what they wanted. Give me a sec. He wants a steak. <laughs> Thanks all round. I go back. I know what Scald wants. What do you want, Vic? Uh, uh, yeah, I'd have the same steak and veg or something. Oh, okay. It's like hearty. Hi. Uh, do you <laughs> do steak? She looks at you and her face drops and she looks at you in shock. Are you kidding me? This is a vegetarian tavern. I, I burst out laughing. I'm like, oh my god, that's amazing. Uh... <laughs> It doesn't bother me. It's just my friends wanted steak, but I'm happy. I'm kidding, friends, of so course I'm I do like... steak. Best steak in the city. <laughs> Damn it. I was about yeah. to charge the door. I was like, that, that's, that's, that's the thing, is next character gone, I'm out. <laughs> just leaving that one behind. <laughs> yeah, of course I do steak. What do you want with it? Potatoes? Other veggies that I can't think about? Gravy? Yeah. Just gravy? the normal. Those gravy vegetables. <laughs> gravy is one of your five a day. Whatever. <laughs> the normal meal. Whatever. Okay, it would be fast okay. As. If you make Coming the gravy, right if you make the gravy with the vegetable water, that's one of your five a day. Vegetable water, also known as stock. <laughs> <laughs> it's the medieval times, all right? They think of it as vegetable water. <laughs> but yes, we do. We do. <clears throat> yeah. I'll, uh, okay, coming right up. Them. I'm happy with the bread. And can I ha get one of them drinks yet again, please? Which one? 
Would you like to try something else? Would you like to try the same one you had before? Would you like to try the one your pretty elven friend got? Half I assume they're all fire whiskey. Why? Why? Why were they different? It's, I, I don't know why they're different. You said you gave me fire whiskey. Uh, yeah, I did. That seems morally wrong, mm. Aqua. Yeah, you can't be lying to me now. I'm not lying to you. And I pull out another, not random bottle, I know what it is, but it's a sort of dark, sort of, also a little bit syrupy whiskey, and um, but it's not fire whiskey, and I pour one glass for Aqua. That's one gold, please. Hmm. Um, how much is that tab, because... <laughs> uh, one gold and four silver, or fourteen silver. Um, can we leave it open for now? Because we don't really know what we're doing, so we may end up stopping somewhere. I, we have rooms here. If you want to have a room, or two, or three. That's what I mean. We probably won't end up discussing if we end up stopping here. So, okay. How much is it actually for a night? For um, one room. for three of you in one room, that's three silver per person per room. Okay, that's fine. I'll let the others know. Um, by the way, have I clocked Jambari and do I know her? Um, you've clocked her. You clock every customer that comes in, every yeah. patron. Um, I mean, she's not exactly hiding. You probably know of her. But would I recognize her as... Oh, she's very distinctive. Okay. Okay. I uh, Have I noticed that she came in with the three odd yeah. bolt? Okay. Okay, before Aqua goes back to the table, I just lean into him again, and I sort of motion him close. Oh, yeah, you're traveling with that woman. Oh, uh, yeah. He Aqua, like, leans in a bit more and starts to whisper. If we are... Escorting her as whether or not you've heard rumors or not, dragons are attacking everywhere, and we're helping her defeat them. Uh huh. And you're traveling with Jambari, the what was it? What was what was that title? The Holy Woman? Heavenly Lady. Heavenly Lady, that one. <laughs> Close. Uh, so you're, you're traveling with Jambari, the Heavenly Lady? Yes, she actually was the one that recruited us in the first place. And we have got so acquainted that we are now privileged to actually work side by side. Uh -huh. um... Or more of a time of need, but tomato, tomato. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. And I, um, yeah, write down everything on the tab that he ordered and continue doing my business. Okay. I'll take my drink back to the table and let Vic and Skull know that your stakes are coming. Yes, yeah, Skull, I can't believe you thought he could just give us bread and, like, <laughs> we'd be happy with it. <laughs> Don't get it. Oh, yeah. Cheers, mate. <laughs> I love how it's just descended into shit talking each other. <laughs> I'll get the next one, okay, Aqua? Don't worry about it. How? How are you going to get the next well, one? Well, I'm assuming I'm not always going to be like this because if we have to be with Skulls and he's naked all the time, I don't, I don't know if I can do it. I think you're just jealous. I mean, I saw it. Be, I'm not. Be comic relief for once. The size of the hammer. It's what you do with it. <laughs> and apparently, he throws it and loses it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at just... least I have a hammer. <laughs> Are you married, Scold, or anything? No, just to my religion. Oh, he doesn't use it after all, then. Okay. Comment. No comment. While this is going on, and mm -hmm. while the steak is being cooked, and probably at one point being brought to um, the uh, brought to the table, 
Um, Bryn would go up to uh, Jambari and the halfling and sit down and look at her. Like, sit down without a warning. Obviously, it's her time and she can do what she wants to. That's a, you know, that's her mindset. So she sits down and looks at Jambari. What are you doing here? Who are you? I'm Brynja. Brynja, hold on. Silverkind. Um, this is my tavern, and I know who you are, and it's an honor to meet you and to, to meet you in person. I've heard a lot about you. A lot of people have heard a lot about you, but you must say it's quite an, an unusual visitor to have in my tavern. These are quite unusual times. Is it true what they say? And she nods over to the other table. Are, the, are dragons back? Yes. Is this why you're here? To talk to the council? Yes. Do you need any help? Yes. We are currently in a position of disadvantage, and I do not like this. I have come to request aid from the Mages of the Moon to hopefully retake some of our power back. Is it true that Oakburg has fallen? Yes. We had some travelers I'm yesterday not and this morning who said they have seen dragons, but I didn't leave them. It sounded so dramatic. Oakburg is such a strong city. You are such a strong woman. took us by surprise. There wasn't much we could do. <clears throat> we would appreciate help if you're able. Otherwise, try to keep things civil. I um I have a few tricks up my sleeve. I can dust off the old battle axe, put on some armor. I'm not gonna let this city fall. I'm not gonna let dragons <laughs> roam free. Not, I mean, not what they not after what they have done to my ancestors. That's good to hear. I feel like we will need all the help we can get in this coming fight. Do you need someone else to travel with you? Or shall I just... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm at your disposal. Very well. My companions have recently lost a member of their group. I'm sure they would appreciate some company I look over at the table again with all due respect heavenly lady one of them is naked one of them is a pirate and one of them is an elf I don't think any of them can be trusted you make a valid point yes no, that is a that is a strike against them, I'll admit. But they're good in a fight and they work as a team. Despite their flaws. It's up to you. I will I will discuss it with them and see if they can use another set of hands and someone who knows their way around the city 
and these parts of Kamblija. Is this Kamblija? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Uh, she gets up again and then she walks over to the table where Skold Aqua and Vic are sitting and she again does the same thing, sits down confidently, puts her hands on the table, folds them together. So, tell me about yourself. Who, who do you want to go first? I mean... The naked one. Oh, me? Uh, mm -hmm. Not much to tell, really. I'm naked. Uh, that's the... <laughs> Uh, that's the first thing. Uh, apart from that, uh, well, I, I do like to uh, do a bit of smithing in my spare time, you could say. And uh, yeah, I think it's just uh, you know, hanging around with my friends here. We've been on a few adventures, you know, a few close calls, but uh, yeah, we've, we've come through thick and thin, and uh, here we are. Can't really. Uh, same much else. You're from Karasgard? Aye, indeed. Where else? Anywhere else. Well, I say you have to be a proper dwarf if you're from Karasgard. I look at him as a dwarf and I raise <laughs> my eyebrows. I was born here. Aye. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> out of the awkward tension is just like <laughs> oh no oh, aqua is sat on the other side of that table with his fingers crossed hoping skull gets punched <laughs> <laughs> there are people um... there, there are people in the tavern that are kind of half listening into the conversation and it's just the michael scott meme of just them going <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I don't punch him but I look at him and I just look him up and down and I cast vicious mockery and instead of saying anything I just pull the sheet back I don't know uh, I, I don't did. have a I don't have a character you need to do a wisdom uh, wisdom saving throw oh yeah <laughs> I forgot to do that attacking my teammate <laughs> it's like Nell's back already. Right? <laughs> never, never mind, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, um, <laughs> at least buy me a drink first. <laughs> I did. Did you? Yeah. Oh. I did! The first drink was on me. Anyway, um, I see. Karis Guardian. I never told them it was free. <laughs> but I just told them, but I just told them it was true. And then I look at I look at Vic and um I examine his face and his translucent armor. So you failed the test, eh? Um I don't really understand what the test was. But This oh, means look. you're dangerous. Well, that's a good thing. We've 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 had run-ins with dragons, the dragons, vampires. Um, where else have we fought? Demons, <laughs> Ags, demons, <laughs> goblins. Don't oh, forget about the goblins. Oh, the goblins. They're very bad. Yeah, we've had run-ins all this kind of stuff. If if we weren't dangerous, then we wouldn't be here. So you're adventurous. Um, navigate yeah, contractors. <laughs> yeah, Scalding the side there, just like mumbling <laughs> navigators. Or... <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we're adventurers. Like I wouldn't say mercenaries, but we take on contracts. We do good. What was the most money you ever made? Money business. I'll just try desperately <laughs> not to say anything. I cast Zone of Truth um, around the table. 
Uh, can I, do I have an actual character here? I do. Um, and I ask again, what was the most money you ever made? Wait a minute. <laughs> Indomitable. <laughs> not a lucky, not not a good chance for doing it, but I'll do it again. Uh... Hey, oh, <laughs> not... <laughs> there's no platy. I was like, yes, he's done it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh... Um, okay, still none of your business. I look, it's gold. <laughs> Backfight. <laughs> That's not a lie. It's none of your business. <laughs> I look, it's gold. What's the most money you ever made on a contract when you were adventuring? You know, you, you're you a dwarf. You like gold. 1,200 platinum. And then I fall off my chair. <laughs> <laughs> um, She nods slowly. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I'm in. You know what? I'm in. Fighting dragons? Sure. When do we start? Um. Oh, what, what do you mean you're in? I'm going to join you. I'm traveling with you. Jambari said, and that blue man said as well, you're down a person. You've lost someone. And I've traveled in my past a little bit as well. I'm... Okay. What makes, I mean, it's not just like, oh, here we go. I'm joined. You've you've tried to like cast spells on us already. Yes, now. I'm ensuring that you're trustworthy. Okay, but how can we ensure that you're not really bad at fighting? You just have to trust me. Jambari turns around. There is but one solution to this problem. Mm -hmm. Thunderdome. Oh, I need my armor back, really. Oh, Aqua, you've got your clothes. Um, she wanted to fight you, and plus, and I, I, I didn't want to fight anyone. I said I'm joining your group. I have skills that you can use. I have traveled before. I know people in this city, people know me, and I can get you into places that you wouldn't get into otherwise. I've traveled to Altberg and other places all over Cambridia, and I've been to the Southern Island. I've been to the Western Island. Uh, nope, I've been to the... No, nope, you're all right. Is it the Western Island? Commit, you're all right. Okay, I've been to the Western Island. I've been to Karasgard once or twice. Oh, what I know. Kind of things have you killed? I've killed. I don't know things. <laughs> your mama. <laughs> None of your business. Mm, I, I have you killed. Do. I have killed. All sort of things. Um, Name three. I have killed. I I have killed. Steak doesn't count. <laughs> Let's yeah. take from the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what do you do things. Um, wow. I have killed things. <laughs> Many things. Um, what? Beasts? Trolls and goblins. Okay. And... Yeah. Ah, okay. that brings us back to our early days. When we were killing goblins. Can't do it. Can't get my stuff. Okay. I was going to be like, let's have a drinking contest and use my purifying goblet. Which turns <laughs> up into water. <laughs> I can't get my pack out. <clears throat> um, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll give you a probation. A little period to see how well you handle it. Okay? This is big leagues. What do you guys reckon anyway? It's not to me. One, uh, one, one, one second. Grip puddle. <laughs> Guys, look, I'm closer than I normally am. Are you sure about this? I might explode. Are you sure about that? 
Oh, Aqua. Roll the D100 for me. Guys, I probably will explode. <laughs> if you so set I... my tavern on fire, I will set you on fire. Hey, you, I was the only one you didn't ask about. You have no idea what I can do. Explode, apparently. Um, right, I, I need you to roll a d6 for me. A d6? Indeed. Oh no, there's six people there. Interesting. Interesting. In an absolutely unthought of and unexpected turn of events, a pixie appears on Aqua's shoulder. Or over Aqua. Um... And then just starts flying around and causing absolute chaos. Picks up people's drinks from their hands and starts yeeting them across the tavern. Um, flies over the behind the bar and starts just like pulling bottles from racks. And um, like starts going around and just kind of like tapping on windows to find weak spots and just like a woodpecker. And um, eventually before it gets bored, you can it flies away and you can see that there's a little crack in one of the windows. Done! What? Why has that thing appeared? And I, I have I... absolutely no idea. You must have a very fun establishment. You are I... still in the zone of truth. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 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 Ten minutes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you yeah, failed. Okay. You, you are... Yeah. Well then, uh, so, it probably come from me. Because my magic is unstable. I'm learning to control it though. Fortunately, haven't mastered it. And random spells and effects will show up every now and then, like this uncontrollable pixie. As you are t saying this, the pixie comes up, picks up the dregs from one of the cups, and just pours it over your head. Flies away. Like, yeah. Flies away, tittering. So it doesn't leave the tavern? No, it's just flying around, being annoying. That's the first part of your information. <laughs> How would you handle this situation? You are going to take care of that thing. You're going to catch it and release oh, it somewhere in the woods. Us to catch it. Yes. Hey. You released it in my tavern. Um, I didn't choose to release it. Kind of just odd stuff happens for me that doesn't matter that why these things usually just take care of themselves after a little while the pixie turns invisible and then suddenly just a glass like a mug a cup full of liquid like lifts off a table and just gets flung over everybody the the halfling jambari vic skull and aqua you're just now covered in like a very thin, sort of crappy ale. Cheap. Well, what kind of establishment is this? Go on, <laughs> take care of it. Or I will double your tab. And for then. Repairing services. Um, Bryn, make a perception check. I dare you to double our tab. Oh god. No, I'm paying the tax. <laughs> Don't do it. Bryn, you are you are like as you're sort of half threatening the group, you feel your flute from the side just being picked out of its case. I um as I feel it, I grab it and I try to if the pixie is still is still invisible, I try to blindly obviously grab the pixie by its neck. Make an attack roll. Um, an arm attack? An arm strike. <laughs> okay. You go to grab the pixie by its neck, um, misjudging slightly, and as you reach out to grab it, you just hear a... <coughs> and then in your hand is just like a kind of blue ooze. And then the pixie's body just appears. Decapitated. Ooh. I take a deep breath. 
And then I go over to the window. I can't, there we go. I can't move with all, I want to go over to the window and um, just I examine the crack. All right. And see how bad it is, if I can just patch it up. It's nothing major. You're paying for this. <laughs> and I add five gold to the tab. Uh, if, if you're part of the group, this is all our pub now. <laughs> oh, no. So, Sir, scold, this is not how adventuring works. Works. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. It is from where we're from. Where are you from? The Halassan Empire. Oh, the Southern Island. Mm -hmm. Of course, makes sense. Be quiet. I've just been zoned out for the past uh, like <laughs> twenty minutes while all this chaos has been going on. Just scolds has been like, <laughs> yeah, zone of, would be, zone of truth would be gone by now. So I can't remove it, but yes, it would be gone. So, um, okay, we'll see how you get on. But it sounds good as long as the other two are right with it. I don't know if Skull can make a decision right now. <laughs> but he he knows what he's doing. Also, we, the food's been served already, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Was it good? Did she do a good job? Hey. Or, uh, You've had better. No, the food is amazing. This tavern is an amazing establishment in this city, loved by locals and travelers alike. Oh, there's a roll. How do you can that. say that? The crack in that window. <laughs> um, it was definitely possible. <laughs> but if you, I mean, yeah, okay. The alcohol was good. It's some of it. <laughs> um, so, which ones are our, our rooms? I'm guessing we own oh. a room now if we're going to be the group. I haven't discussed that yet, but. but mm. Yeah. There, there are rooms here that we can pay. Why would we pay? We were part of a team then. No, no, Aqua's paying. He, he said, you know, it's his tab. Yeah. It's just insurance of you paying. Two silver, what did I say? Three silver per person per night. I think you were right the first time, it was two. No. But actually, if you're new, shouldn't you pay for us? I don't know how this works. You know what? I think you should sleep on the streets. I'm happily just staying here and not coming with you and defending my city. You can sleep outside on the streets and I will make sure that no other tavern will take you in. Can I have a room? <laughs> We're money talks though. I don't have any money. Damn. Wow, <laughs> I can assure you, I have got myself banned from many taverns. I don't need your help. <laughs> yeah, there's one time. He poked someone. That's another story. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Actually, you could have gone for the one where I uh, tried to do the bowling ball of the head and failed miserably. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I feel like that was no, that wasn't the same time. No, that was a different tavern. Same chain. Hmm. <laughs> it's just part of the chain. I don't think so. When same island, maybe. Um. Yeah. Go uh, sorry. I was gonna no. say, actually, do you have any taverns in the city uh, that would be a chain to the stop along the way? You've heard of the stop along along the way. Uh huh. You've also heard of the end of the road and how it went franchise a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Offers have been made around the city, but as far as you know, so far no one's taken it up. There's been some people talking, trying to draft up contracts, but the offers weren't high enough. Anyway, if you want a room, you're paying up front. 
Okay, Aqua, I guess. We should probably see what Jambari's Okay, doing. Aqua. Ugh. Jambari can stay here for free. Well, I'm talking, we need to talk about what we need to say to her, like what she's getting up to right now, etc. Has she been talking to this person? Yes. Um, as you are kind of drawing attention to her, she turns around and says, what do you want? What was that, sorry? What do you want? Oh. Um, what's the next step? Should we stay here for the night? Have you got business to take care of? I need to rest. After a rest, I'll be okay. But okay. we need to go to the to the mages of the moon tower. We need to go and see them, see what they're doing. Gain their help if we can. Okay, so we'll go there now, then rest or rest then go there? Rest then go there. I am far too exhausted for more activity today. I'm sorry. No, 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 you've done, you've done plenty. Good. Um, what's this new person seem like to you? Bryn? Seems alright. Charges a bit too much for some people, but I think that's to compensate for the free things she keeps giving me. Mm. Okay. I will take um, her on as an employee of my own if you don't wish to travel with her. <laughs> if you think she'll be alright. We are down one after all. True. True. Um, well, I need I need rest and I need sleep, so I'm going to retire for the evening. My friend here is going to do a few jobs for me in the city. And the halfling kind of looks and nods at you. But you know what I will be upstairs if you require my my assistance. Okay, I think we're gonna get a room here as well, probably. Um do you know how we can get around this whole translucent clothes thing? Yes. She kind of waves her hand and scolds you have your armor back and you oh, are no longer translucent. Oh. Oh. I was getting used to that. I mean, there's nothing stopping you, mate. <laughs> I like me armor, though. <laughs> oh, okay. That's better. Thank you. We'll um, get our room then, shall we, Aqua? Yes. I shall go pay. <laughs> As you go over and settle the tab, um, are you granted rooms? Are they granted rooms? If you pay six silver, uh, six gold and three silver, yes. Oof. Aqua, do you carry that much gold? That hurts. Yeah, I carry tons of gold <laughs> <laughs> in my uh, prison wallet. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> no, I just have secret compartments that I don't tell anyone that are just on me. <laughs> <laughs> and I pull out seven gold and hand it to her and go, here you go, keep the change in case, you know, I sneeze and accidentally break a table. <laughs> Sounds good. I like you. And um, she hands him a key to a room that has three beds it's very cozy but also very small three separate beds a fireplace one cozy looking armchair in the corner and one sort of wardrobe looking chest piece and that's it yeah. no window nice. it's all right less risk of me falling out another story <laughs> okay okay go here then go back we awesome. have our room. Nice, well, but we should get Skeld in there. I think he might start to strip again. Try to do a acrobatics check to, uh, to try and get up and walk. <laughs> no, you, you, supported by your comrades, you are capable. Ah, very good. 
just about. Your stomach's churning a little bit. Yeah. But other than that, you're okay. Um, as you set set off to your room and Jambari follows to her own room, um, you settle down for the evening. Skull passes out immediately. <laughs> um, Aqua and Vic, you are free to do as you wish. And we will end there for this session today. Good job, guys. You didn't die. <laughs> Despite my <laughs> best attempts. Despite your best effort. <laughs> um, welcome to Athena's new character, Brynja. Thank you, thank you. She sounds um, good. I mean, it's yet to be proven, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> On probation. Um, yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, we'll be back with scales next week, I believe, unless anyone has any surprises for me. Um, uh, amazing. We'll be back next week for scales. Um, same time, same place, same channel. Um, and don't forget to check out the YouTube channel if you haven't already, where Solstice went live yesterday. Um, I'm proud of how it came out, and people seem to be enjoying it. So honestly, that's all I can really ask for. Uh. And don't forget to check back next Monday for episode two. Um, so maybe go and give the YouTube channel a, channel a follow. And maybe follow Twitch at the same time while you're there, you know. We'll see what happens. Other than that, thank you, everyone. We're going to go and going to have a sleep. <laughs> um, yes. See you all next time. See you uh, next time. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.